guy told Medic when we talked, I said, who am I gonna fucking dishonor my goddamn service to? A bunch of junkies? Who never did shit for this country but fucking take from it? And use fucking drugs? Fuck these motherfuckers. Fuck them junkie cocksuckers. Don't dishonor your fucking service by giving in to a junkie. Well, if they if they don't believe who you are in the mainstream of your life, what does it matter? You know, well, they they the one thing that they can't grasp that's a simple concept. At the end of the night, when you you know when you turn the phone off, that fucking world disappears. It ceases to exist. But these people that they live for this, man. I'm not scared of your docs. If it happens, it'll happen. And then you'll find out exactly who you're really dealing with. And first, and those other bastards can tell you that, but this is fight fire with fire. I'm going to tell you this much right now, all this moral high ground bullshit, you can pound that in your teeth now. Because it's over. There is no moral high ground. The high ground is now every man has to do what every man has to do and if your family's being bashed and attacked and they're trying to look up where you're coming from, where you're at and all this, you gotta be a little bit smarter than them. And you gotta be willing to, if someone shoots at you and you don't fire back, pretty soon you're gonna end up dead. It's about every day, guys, that he doesn't even take the money. He doesn't care no, about the money. No, as a matter of fact, they, mo they monetized us about three weeks ago on the channel that we're on now and I told Deadly to take the monetization off that I do not want to do the work that we do and accept right, money. You, write oh. you, want you know, it's kind of like a pro bono lawyer. I, and I do it because I think it's important for the public to get the information. I don't want to make money off it or uh, take, I don't take any donations. I, I, I just don't. You know, yeah, there's no them. cash apps being dropped. Like, there's nothing. Like, we don't have a cash app for the show. Yeah, and, it's not, and, it, and it's got well, pretty close to two thousand viewers now. And, and we got my. It was set up to be monetized, I guess, at one point because it was a different mm -hmm. channel that Deadly was working off of on video games, and then we decided to make it the channel that we're working on now, and we demonetized it when we got monetized. Yeah, that's why he plays music and stuff because he doesn't get paid. He does mm. this because you know, it's the right yeah, thing the art, to do. The artists might get some money off that music that we play, but we do not get anything, not a dime. That's why I can play all the music that I want to. That's right. very cool, you know. I like that part of it. I'd rather have the music than the money. You know what I mean? That's why I get yeah. to, you know, to introduce people to some metal and, you know, some music that I like. And, and we all can. Besides that, I'm independently rich and I don't need the fucking money. <laughs> Just is what it is. This is a charity work for me as far as I'm concerned. I used to not be as good a man as I was now. I did 12 years for an armed robbery. And uh, I belong to a outlaw motorcycle club. And I again, I was not always the man that I am now. And say this as penance for my sins. Right the wrongs that I might have committed. Should, did I say something that somebody should feel sorry for me? <laughs> what did I? What did I do? Oh, you're talking about my family. Yeah, my brother. Yeah, yeah, that's, you know, that's what we sign up for. You know, if I, I just got to look at it that way. If I give my life for my country, I could have not served a better cause in life. You know, that's what we sign up for. We never cry about it. We just move on. What I've got to say, and I'm going to fucking leave it alone and drop it forever. Everyone who's here and everyone who knows me knows how fucking loyal I have been to certain parties around here, okay? Now, if they choose to fucking platform my fucking enemies who tried to fucking hurt me and my family and my docs, 
with my docs, then I all I've got to say is then I all I've got to say is you know who was fucking loyal. I did nothing. I did nothing wrong. But tell the fucking truth and expose another scumbag. Okay, and and for that, I'm done. That's it. I got other things to it. I got other things to do. I got women that really appreciate my help that around here that are being fucking abused. So that's that. They wanted to buy a van and just travel the country and do YouTube. And they're doing it and making money. So yeah. And this is kind of the concept that I gave him. You know, I tried to put the guy on the right path. I mean, if, if you're a, a Christian, okay, and you truly do love people, at the end of the day, you don't want to hurt anybody. You want to try and help them a little bit. That's what I did with pizza and, and you know, showed them a little bit of friendship, a little bit of brotherhood, similar situation. I was in prison and they had me work in the child line. Now, there's guards on each side of the child line and they're watching what you put on people's plates. And if you got a friend that comes through the line and you put extra on there or whatever, you'll get your ass jumped. You possibly could end up cleaning bathrooms instead of working on the child line. <laughs> and, the, and the child line that was a privilege because after you, they were done, if there was any food that was left over, they'd let you put it, wrap it up, and take it back with you or whatever. So it was, And you could give people extra food in your barracks. It was a good privilege to have. And I didn't want to lose this privilege. And this guy walks up to the fucking... Uh, through, through the child line and he says uh, give me another piece of meat and I said I can't bro they're watching and he's like I didn't fucking ask motherfucker I told you give me another piece of meat I said, and I said you don't tell me fuck off get buck punk and he started running his mouth when you come back to the barracks don't when you come back to the barracks that's what we used to call him there. he says when you come back to the barracks he said yeah I'm me and, me and the boys are gonna jump you motherfucker well I knew he was serious okay he meant it cause he's a bitch <laughs> and it was going to take more than one. So I'm thinking to myself, well, we'll just settle this right fucking here. Big mistake. Because I went around the fucking child line. I got in this motherfucker's face. And I didn't even fucking hit him. The guard, I, I pulled my arm back. And the guard behind me hooked my arm. You know what I mean? So I couldn't uh, punch him. Yeah, he hooks my arm, grabs me, pulls me out of there. And the whole fucking child hall erupts. Okay? And fucking starts fucking going off. Well, they take me down, put me in a fucking hole for the night. And I end up having to fuck. I get fucking tickets for this shit, bro. And they gave me an inciting a fucking riot in the chow hall within the fuck. And I'm like, well, what the fuck is this? This ain't no big deal. And they're like, they can give you five more years for that shit. And I'm like, oh, fuck me. You know, so they take me down to kangaroo court. And I have to fucking explain to the fucking judge. You know, they got the little kangaroo court in, set up in the prison so that if people get violations or whatever, you have to go. Because you can get new charges in the joint, you know. And. They bring me down and I talk to the judge that they had brought in and everything. And I told her, I says, hey, I, I was stuck in the middle. I says, I would be in trouble for giving the guy more if I gave it to him. I said, and then he's threatening me that when I get back to the barracks, I'm going to get jumped. I said, I had no choice but to handle my business right there. And she gave me like six days off my good time for it. You know, still, I lost six days of my life just for right. not, you know, you know what I mean? Losing my temper. But it, it was that Chicago muscle involved. The answer will most likely be yes. The fucking place is out of control. The FBI is watching. And this bullshit is time to fucking put an end to it. And I think I can be most effective by taking a, a, a getting off here. You, you would be fucking shocked. Yeah, when I was a kid, I'll tell you a story. When I was a kid, I was asked to hook up. They wanted me because I was a big fucking guy. I could fight. They knew it. I was fucking mean. But I was more, I, I, at the time, my father was an angel. I hadn't fucking gotten, you know, I was basically brought up around that. And they were wanting me to join the disciples. There was a set called the White Gangster Disciples that was starting out in the suburbs of Chicago. And they were wanting me to run it. And I asked, I told them, I says, no, I says, I can't. And they said, well, they at least wanted me to ride out with them when they would fight. So they wanted to fucking tell everybody that they violated me and brought me in anyway. My father was a POW. He was tortured for 19 months in a prison camp. I've told the story. It's, uh, but, you know, again, um, that's what we sign up for. We know things can get crazy over there, but somebody's got to do it. And you got to remember something, just like motorcycle clubs. Do you know that 1% of the population actually serves? Crazy, isn't it? Yeah.
It's, it's crazy. But 1% of the population serves. And my great-grandfather was a Marine. My grandfather was a Marine. My father was a Marine. My brother was a Marine. I was a Marine. And I'll leave it at that because I might have somebody still active. And uh, they... Shoot, it was fucking amazing, dude. We're fucking goddamn shit blowing all over the place. Walruses running up the road, fucking goddamn seals fucking the, in the backyard bathtubs or the fucking uh, pools. And Jesus, dude. And and my wife showed me one from the other day. And a motherfucking shark is going down the goddamn street. And we got a dumbass that came in with a fake Chicago muscle. You do realize that even fucking your IP can be grabbed through your through your fake ass fucking VPN, right? You do understand that, right? Just because you have a VPN on does not mean the cops can't fucking get through that VPN. But can I ask you a question? Why would somebody tell a woman, I have your picture and I have your IP? That's you know what, what I mean? Well, that was a first for me, actually. I didn't know how to react to, to, react to that. Um, uh, it was weird. I don't know what he meant by it. Is it a threat? Is it a threat? Well, that was a threat. Yeah, was a, that was a, that was a threat. Right, so that means I shouldn't be coming here. Well, no, because we don't care about your IP or your picture. You can come here anytime. You're no danger from us at all. I don't want to, you know, hurt anybody in real life or anything. No, well, well, no, it would have been the 80s, because in 86, I would have been 16. Okay, okay. Okay, so, and it would have been, I would have been like 15. Yeah, yeah, I would have been like 15. Do you think I got a little bit of knowledge about what's going on there? Or a fucking uh, goddamn uh, jar of salt in the fucking while you're fucking at it trying to fucking really hammer down the point. He's going to kill someone. <laughs> oh, 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 good lord. Okay, well, I, I think that everybody has enough proof now to know that Johnny Mac and the reason he says all the horrible things about Chicago Muscle is because Chicago Muscle exposed you motherfucker. They have a moderator here that they've convinced over there that I'm a racist. And I, yeah, and I actually have, a, well, he's not a child anymore. I raised a black, he's a Marine. <laughs> uh, I raised a black Marine, the biggest black Marine you ever seen in your fucking life. Now you talk about a monster, okay? And Fuck her a wetback. Wetback's not a fucking... Racist thing, is it? I mean, when they fucking swam over here from Cuba, didn't they get a wet back? <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but when I go swimming, I get a wet back. <laughs> You'd see me in the fucking street and I'd fuck you in your ass, you fucking bitch. Okay, I will not do it. I don't. If you ask me a question, I just I don't really want to talk about people buying their back. So all the PMs and shit, just cancel that shit. I'm gonna tell you right now. This is what I've got to say, and I'm gonna fucking leave it alone and drop it forever. Everyone who's here and everyone who knows me knows how fucking loyal I have been to certain parties around here. Okay. Did find out through all of this who I can fucking trust. The number keeps getting smaller, but the team will continue to get stronger. Never forget that. Team Muscle, have faith. Don't despair. I'm still here. Enemies. After all the fucking good I've done.